and welcome to your Friday Phonics. Now on Fridays we're not going to be learning any new sounds but we are going to be recapping the sounds we've done this week. We're going to be looking at the workbook if you've not already started doing that and we're going to have a go at blending some words using the sounds that we have learnt this week. Okay so just like always we're going to start with our flashcards okay. So are we ready? Nice big voices. S Fantastic. Well done, boys and girls. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the sounds that we have learned this week. So the sounds that we learned, the sound that we learned on Monday was s and we sung the jolly phonics song and we also practiced writing it. So let's use our magic fingers and let's practice going over our sound. So remember you start there, you go around, down, pen off. Well done. Okay, what was the next sound that we learned? Ah, well done. So we put our pen on, we go around, up, down, flick, pen off. Brilliant. The next one, t, pen on, down and around, pen off, pen on again, cross, pen off. Brilliant. Last one, p, pen on, down, back up, stop, over, and pen off. Brilliant. Okay, so boys and girls, who can remember what the names of these letters are? So this one makes the s sound, but what's its name? Fantastic, its name is S, but the sound it makes is S. What's this letter's name? A, brilliant. So its name is A, but the sound it makes is A. Brilliant T. So its name is T, but the sound it makes is T. And this one. P. Brilliant P, but the sound it makes is P. Fantastic. Well done, boys and girls. You've done so well. All right, so let's have a go at doing some of our booklet. I'm not going to do it all. I know some of you have already started this. We're going to stop a little bit. We'll do some of our books. So we've already talked about um, forming our letters and we did that in our lessons. But the first page on our uh, booklet is about practising writing the letters. And it gives you a little red spot of where to start, okay? So you put your pen on the red dot and you go around, follow it round, pen off. Fantastic. And then you can do it again, but there's no dot this time. Pen on around pen off brilliant and you do all of those and then underneath it's your chance to do your own so you put your pen on around you go pen off fantastic so i want to see you doing lots and lots of perfect s s's now let's have a look at ah so remember you put your pen on around up down and a flick do it again pen on around up down and a flick perfect let's try one of our own pen on around up down and a flick perfect okay let's try t, t. so remember pen on we go down around pen off then pen back on to do your line pen off let's try again pen on down and around Pen off, pen back on, and across. Okay, boys and girls, I'm just going to pull you a little bit closer to me, if possible, because I thought you're quite far away from me. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? 
Okay, so let's do our own. So pen on, we're still doing it. Pen on, down, around, pen off, pen back on, across, pen off. Brilliant. Okay, last letter that we learned yesterday was P. So with P, you put your pen on, down, back up, over, and together, pen off. Again, pen on, down, over, pen off. Okay, now boys and girls, uh, all the other letters um, that we have learnt at, they all sit on top of the line. Now what's a little bit different about P is what I say is his head, okay, his head sits on the line, okay, and his leg dangles underneath the line, okay. So what we call this is a descender, it's a big word, okay, it's just called a descender. When the line goes down, it's a descender. But when we're thinking about it, what we say is his head sits on the line like this, and his legs dangle, his leg dangles below the line, okay. So when you're writing it, you've got to remember, you've got to put your pen on, you're going to go down below the line, back up, over, and together so you can see oops make sure I don't knock everything over you can see that my head of my p, my p is sitting on that line okay don't worry if you've not done it like that straight away boys and girls you can practice there's plenty of time all right okay let's have a look at the next page see what we have to do next so the next page is asking us to match the letter to the capital letter. Now, boys and girls, I'll look for it a little bit closer. So remember I told you all the letters have names, okay? So both of these letters, okay, are called the same thing, okay? But they look a little bit different. So if you, when you've seen your name written down, if you are called Amia or Amara, okay, your beginning of your name begins with an A. But you will write a capital because your name begins with a capital letter. If your name is Tiber, your name begins with a capital letter. But it still makes the T sound, okay? If your name was Peter, your name would begin with a capital P, but it still makes the P sound. And if your name was Safe, okay, um, then your name begin with a capital S, but it still begins with a S sound so all we've got to do is match our capitals with our lowercase letters our small letters that we're used to seeing all the time so i'm going to pop this back up here as i'm going to use a pencil because i've noticed that with my pen it's going through to the other pages and i don't want that so let's start with this letter so this letter is a capital a a capital a so can you find a lower a lowercase a well done, it's there. So that's A, it makes the A sound. This is also A and it makes the A sound. So we can join those two up together. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Can you remember what this one is? It's T, well done. T for Tiber, T for Tiger, okay. And T for Tap, okay. But when you're writing a name, it has a capital letter like Tiber. So can you see the other T, -t, -t that we see? And the other T, well then it's there. Okay, oops. Perfect, okay. Look at this one. It's a P, well done, it's a capital P. It makes a P sound. So if your name was Paul or Peter, you would start your name with this sound. But the other, it still makes the same P as the little P, the lowercase P. So can you find the lowercase P on your page, on my page? It's there, well done. So those two letters make the same sound. Okay, this one. Now this one's a little bit easier, boys and girls, because both look very similar, don't they? Uh, both S's look very similar. It's just that the, uh, the capital S is a little bit bigger. Okay, so we know the S Oops. matches S. Brilliant, fantastic, boys and girls. Okay, let's have a look at what, happens, what we need to do next. Oh, I think you are going to be able to do this super, super duper. So now this one, we've got to match the initial sounds. And we've done a lot of this when we did our sound pots. Okay, so when Miss McAleaf was telling you, each uh, object in the sound pot began with that letter. Okay, this is what this is. So I think you're going to be super duper at this. So you've got to join all the objects that begin with a S. So turtle. Nope. 
pirate. Nope. Sausage. Does the sausage begin with a s? Well done, it does. I'm going to join those two up. Pie. No. Tomato. Nope. Anchor. No. Apple. No. Sock. Yeah, well done. So socks begin with s as well. Okay, let's think of all the words that begin with a. Turtle. No. Pirate. No. Pie. No. Tomato. No. Anchor. Yeah. A. Anchor. Fantastic. I'm going to put another peg in the bottom here so I can just because it keeps moving. A goes to my anchor. Okay, next one. Apple. Yes, well done. It does. Apple begins with an A sound. Okay, let's do T next. Turtle. Yes, well done. So turtle begins with a T sound. Pirate. No. Pie. No. Tomato. Yeah, so tomato begins with a T sound. Okay, last one. Pirate. Yes, a pirate begins with a P sound. Pie. Yes, a pie begins with a P sound. Fantastic, boys and girls. You're doing so good at this. Okay. Now, this one, we've got to read the words. Okay, now before we do that, we're going to practice blending, okay? Now, boys and girls, you've been doing really, really good at oral blending. So oral blending means when Miss McAlevey says the sounds, you're going to blend them together. Now, when we look at these words, okay, you're, I'm still going to say them out loud, okay? And you're going to still blend them. But what I want you to do is I want you to also look at the letters I'm pointing to as I say the sounds, okay? Because that's how we learn to read. Now, the buttons at the bottom... Just tell us how many sounds are in that word, okay? So when we write a word, we always put sound buttons on and that lets us know how many sounds to use our phoneme fingers for. So, there are two dots, which means there are going to be two sounds in this word. A, T, A, T. Can you blend it together? A, T, A, T. Brilliant. So that word was A, T. Three sound buttons, so there's going to be three sounds. Are you ready? S A T. Blend it together. S A T. Brilliant. S A T. Sat. Good. T A P. T A P. Fantastic. T A -p. Good. Let's try this one. P A T. P A T. P A T. Pat. Brilliant. You guys are so good at this. Okay, last one. S A P. S A P. S A P. Sap. Brilliant. Fantastic, boys and girls. Super duper reading. Okay, so for this activity, we're just doing the same things and you've got to you've got to match them to the uh, the picture. Okay? So read the word and match them to the picture. So let's try the first one. S -a -t. So we can put the sound buttons on. S -a -t. Sat. Okay, where is the girl? Sat. She's down there. So we need to put. A line to the girl who's sat. Next one. T -a -p. T -a -p. Tap. Brilliant. Can you find the picture of a tap? There it is. Oops. Well done. Okay, next one. P -a -t. Sound buttons. P -a -t. Brilliant. 
for patting a dog up there. Pat. Last one. Sap. 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 Now, sap, boys and girls, is something that comes out of a tree and it's a bit sticky. Okay, so can you see a picture of a tree that looks like it's dripping sticky things? There it is. So, sticky liquid. There you go. Well done, boys and girls. I can tell that you've been working really hard on your blending. Now, don't worry if you don't get it straight away. Okay, it's what that's why we practice, practice, practice. Okay, all right, boys and girls. So, next week we will be learning some new sounds, some new letters for us to read. I hope you've had Hi everyone. Sorry we got cut off there, my camera died. Uh, just to say, have a nice weekend and I will see you again on Monday. Okay, bye everyone. See you soon.